All right, it's just a quick one today. We're looking at the Fuji Xerox uh, DocuPrint M115W. Uh, this is also sold as the, well, the original manufacturer of this printer is actually Brother, and it's sold as a Brother uh, MFC, no. No, DCP 1510W. It's remembering. So this printer is also known as the MFC 1810 and the brother, the brother version of the toner is the TN 1070 toner cartridge as well as being known as the DCP1510 multifunction and it's also known as the Fuji Xerox DocuPrint M115Z so what we're doing with this printer today is so this machine has got a grand total of 695 pages on the counter. Um, we've just picked this printer up from our local recycling center. So this machine has only ever had one toner cartridge through it in its entire life. And the toner cartridge it's had is the one that ships with the printer. So it says here, toner kind, inbox toner. So the um, yep. Yeah, so the toner says that it's low. We're going to reset the toner and refill it. So the um, every other video I've discovered on YouTube has completely the wrong information as far as resetting the toner back to full um, lots of the videos they hit the menu button then they scroll down to uh, where is it the toner there's a general setup I think yeah so lots of the videos go to replace toner and then the machine its default as soon as it runs out of toner the top machine stops so what, what all, every single video I've found on YouTube has is people pressing the down arrow saying continue, hitting OK, it says accepted, and then the machine keeps um, printing. But here's the thing, the machine will constantly still say on the screen toner empty, replace toner, toner low, replace toner and it will annoy you with that message over and over and over again and what it also does is as the toner cartridge wears so as the gauge goes from start to empty the machine is actually adjusting The machine's actually adjusting what's known as the bias voltage. On the uh, the uh, the grid up here. So you've got your charge wire that supplies the charge voltage to um, uh, statically charge the drum and the bias voltage is being modified as this goes from start to empty so if you run this gauge all the way down to empty and you've still got the printer saying toner empty the incorrect voltage is being applied to the grid and that cho that takes the print quality and it actually runs the toner cartridge down very very quickly to empty so you're here today to find out how to reset 
your toner levels back to full. And we will put that back in. Put that back in. So this method applies to both the Fuji Xerox and the Brother. So to reset your machine back to full on here, and we wait till the machine comes back to ready. Come on. Okay, so we're back at the main screen. You hit menu. You press the down arrow till you get to machine info. Then press OK. Then scroll down to number nine reset drum now we're not resetting the drum because the drum is still brand new in this machine what you then do is hold down the OK key for about 10 seconds now it's asking us to reset the drum we're not going to reset the drum we are now going to press the start button the screen goes blank we then press the down arrow we do it a lot faster actually <laughs> let's do that again so we will hold the button down the OK button for 10 seconds we press start then we press the down arrow it will say 0 0 on the screen we hit OK the OK button, it says accepted, we hit stop, we'll go back to the main screen, we will now hit the menu button, we will scroll down to machine info, we will hit OK, we will then scroll down to print settings number five, we will then press start. Okay, first page. Look at our second page. And now we see the toner cartridge has been reset back to full. The correct voltages are being applied to the grid now but there is a caveat over this reset method is that it will only reset the toner back to the inbox toner okay so that's the toner that shipped with the printer in the brand new box when you bought it from the store now what this customer well actually this, it's not a customer because <laughs> this guy chucked whoever chucked this printer away so with this printer what a lot of people are not aware of is that every single brand new printer that you buy at the store comes with what's known as starter toner cartridges. They're not full. So when you buy these toners from the store, sorry, buy these printers from the store, in order for them to sell you this printer very, very cheaply, just to get it in your home or your business. This is the chamber back here that has all the toner in it. This printer will only ship with about this much toner. So we've got a cartridge this size. You will only get about this much toner in the cartridge. You will not get from here to here worth of toner. So just bear this in mind if you're part of the uh, population of people that thinks it's cheaper and easier just to buy a new printer every time you run out of toner. So I've already refilled this toner. Um, I might make a video about refilling it, but I might not. I'll, this is just the reset video to show you how to correctly reset the toner.
If you have refilled the tyner, you just simply reset the cartridge probably two or three times before the cartridge will be actually be empty on a full cartridge. So a full cartridge in one of these machines, if it is a genuine Xerox or a genuine Brother 1070 cartridge, TN 1070 cartridge, um, will only do about 900 pages. It's a very low yield cartridge. Uh, if you're buying your toners from me, I deliver them for free to your home or business. When I refill them, you will average about 1,200 to 1,500 pages. And we teach you how to reset your toner so you can keep using it until it actually fades out and runs out of black toner powder. Uh, also, well, I'm also working on um, the ability for uh, people to print with white toner powder um, so that will be coming up very soon um, so if you're like a fruit display business if you go to say your local butcher or your local deli or your local uh, fruit store you'll find that they often have um, uh, blackboards, black chalkboards, and they write on the boards with the white chalk uh, the price of the vegetables or the meat or whatever and it looks very nice because it's white writing on a black background I'm working on developing these printers to load them instead of with black toner we will load them with white toner powder and then you can simply print your shop displays on you print white toner onto black paper or whatever color paper you want a dark brown you know looking at a local fruit store a black uh, price board with white writing on it looks very nice and brings a very classy finish to your business um, so very soon I will have that available for to the local Brisbane and Gold Coast market if you're looking for that to make your store and business uh, just simply pop visually and it looks fantastic and then that can in turn um, maybe increase sales in your business so this is it for today's video that's how to reset your toner on one of these machines properly and um, uh, yeah thanks for watching